For the most part, this is what artisanal gold mining in the Peruvian Amazon looks like. Water and mud is pumped out of this man-made lagoon, up this platform and down a sluice. Most of the tiny grains of gold, along with the fine silt, are trapped in the carpet laid on the slide. Normally, miners would use neurotoxic mercury in the final stage of extraction to bind with the gold. That's where the science comes in. Dozens of innovators have come here as part of an international competition to brainstorm cleaner alternatives. Using this handheld X-ray fluorescence gun, Alfonso Rodriguez can see what the miners are looking for. And this is very useful for the miners because they can determine the level of any metals on soil. Uh, depending on the calibration and equipment, you can find gold, you can find uh, mercury, lead, any kind of metal. Technology like this doesn't come cheap, but it can find gold and also mercury, especially at dangerous levels. It could be purchased and shared by a mining association but that would mean rules and regulations, and those are hard to come by out here. While well, the innovators are looking to reduce the environmental impact of artisanal mining, their innovations need to be tailored to how miners work in the field. That means accessibility and low cost. Mining has turned much of this tropical rainforest into sand dunes and lifeless pools. Here too, scientists are trying to remediate the impacts by planting trees. We have a list of species that can be said to resist or are the most suitable for this type of ecosystem. And not only here, we also have been able to test in different places in Madre de Dios. And that gives you a clue to what forest species you can use. But some artisanal miners are trying to leave mercury behind and form legitimate businesses. Ser formal. Being formal brings many commitments. It is costly. There are operating expenses. You have to have your personnel on the payroll, pay all your taxes. But if you want to work with peace of mind and without anyone bothering you, you must reach this stage. Yeah. On this shaking table is the result of a long day's work. In the black silt lies the gold. After hours of processing, the material containing the gold can be smelted down. The product, a small nugget, weighing about three grams. At current prices, it's worth about $170. Split between nearly a dozen workers, it's not much. The central government has to encourage miners who are extracting gold using zero mercury. There should be benefits more than anything for the costs. We want to be paid a fair price for our certified gold. Although some jewelers are willing to pay a slightly higher price for what's being called ecological gold, it's still a niche. But the innovations from Canada to the UK to Peru keep coming. As you can see, the ore is running along the locks, but the gold will be trapped by the magnetic particles, which act like a magnet pulling it. At the end, when the process is finished, we will harvest and smelt it. This clean gold technology uses magnetic particles. Each panel costs around $100. Out of some 120 competitors, 13 finalists were selected in the quote Artisanal Mining Grand Challenge, the Amazon. So the competition looks to gather that data on if, you know, the potential of a solution. And at the end of six months, teams will submit additional data and will select um, the two highest performing teams to receive a $100,000 prize. As the destruction of the Amazon continues apace, driven by the economic fallout of the coronavirus pandemic and the high price of gold, finding clean mining solutions has never been more urgent. Dan Collins, CGTN, in Madre de Dios, Peru.